Chris Aceto, the guy that trained me from day one. Chris, I want to get you on the YouTube so we can talk about how we used to drive up to Maine every week. And uh, he used to take a look and I'd just come back down. I was dedicated, but he taught me everything. He put my put his diet on my refrigerator. That's how I kind of started. So Chris Aceto, shout out to you, man. Trainer of the Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden also, and everybody else. Chris will tell you, from day one, I love training. He used to come and watch me train and be like, man, fuck, you don't stop. But Chris, shout out to Chris, because Chris believed in me from day one, told me I'd be Mr. Olympia. He built my confidence level, taught me a lot about business, too. He taught me how to sell t-shirts and, and 8 by 10 photos, and now it's turned into what you guys see today. It's fucking crazy, you know? He taught me the mail order business, which is funny. I'm, I'm laughing, Chris, as I'm reminiscing about this stuff right now. My heaviest on stage was 273 at the Arnold Classic 2002, and Chris can justify that. I ate, like, a high-carb diet for the whole prep and did no cardio. My some, my best looks, probably 01, 02, like, no cardio guys at all. I'd walk scrappy in the morning like at a snail's pace because I was like 280 and uh, you know a lot of it was just a carb rotation that you know Chris taught me saunas too Chris like I was huge on the saunas instead of like beating myself up and dragging my legs down if you guys look at some of the pictures my legs are the biggest they ever were some of my best looks but now I love doing cardio just for my mind more than anything but it does it does keep me in a little shape because my diet isn't as on point these days. I miss meals and 